Sustainability is a very complex issue, right? It, it doesn't boil itself down to a single email or a single text message or, or a quick 20 second spot on television. Documentary film is a medium where the filmmaker can take a complex issue, break it down, and they have sufficient time to actually develop the story and present it in a way that is understandable to the audience. Bangladesh is a land on water, and it's always flooded there. But in the last few decades, it's gotten worse and worse. So the shores of the rivers are being ripped away, and their land is actually getting smaller. You know, climate change is not some theoretical thing that's open to debate over there. I mean, it's today, it's yesterday, it's happening now. We're looking at a world that could have literally hundreds of millions, if not a billion refugees, which is on a scale that we, we haven't even seen a fraction of that, even during great world wars. There's an energy crisis around the world. Specifically to Jordan, they have no natural energy source. So solar energy is something huge that really has to be pushed on the ground there. To bring light back to their village is so very basic and which can completely transform their community. The way Hilton defines sustainability is something we really resonate with because it's quite a wide definition. And so we can look at issues all the way from energy to education to climate to environment and in there, the notion of sustainability is really how we can create a thriving global society. Easy Like Water is a, a film about a visionary architect, Mohammed Rezwan is his name, on the front lines of climate change in Bangladesh, who's building floating schools in an area that's flooded off the map for four to five months out of the year now. He felt that if the children can't get to school, the school should come to them. Rezwan's floating schools, to me, are an example of people who are really taking charge of their lives and really seeing there are ways that we can make a difference. The film is about women from the most disenfranchised parts of the world, many of whom don't know how to read or write go to India for a course for six months, learn how to become solar engineers, and return six months later with the hopes of solar paneling their villages. You see this book? Everything in this book, the grandmother will learn in six months. So if the lady is scared now, tell me. Now is the time to say no. Within one month, one character really stood out. Her name is Rafia. After a month into her education, her husband called her home and said, if you don't come back, I will divorce you and steal your kids and you'll never see them again. So it was her drive from there to get back to India and you know, make her brain work and use her education to better herself and her village that made her just overtake the entire film. The island president is the portrait of Muhammad Nasheed, who's the first democratically elected president of the Maldives, which is a tiny country, consists of islands in the middle of the Indian Ocean. He steps into office and immediately takes on the climate debate. Well, uh, Maldives is just 1.5 meters above sea level. And because of climate change and sea level rise, the number of our islands are eroding. And it's not something in the future, it is something that we are facing right now. Nasheed made a light bulb go off in my head, which is, it's a human issue. The struggle for climate justice, so to speak, against climate change is really the struggle to kind of keep the world healthier and therefore the citizens of the world healthier. The island president in particular is an important and personal story for those of us at Hilton. We have three hotels on the islands. The threat of those islands actually going underwater impacts us as a company and impacts the people who live in the islands, it impacts our employees who make their living servicing our guests in those hotels. So that film in particular resonated with us due to that connection with our corporation. 
These films are, are so good and such high quality and so interesting in terms of bringing you into worlds that you would never get a chance to be a part of. In such a human way, in such an accessible way, in such an entertaining way, I think it's actually a brilliant stroke on their part because independent film is something everybody can learn to love. I think everybody in the world is at one point in their lives faced with this question of can I possibly do this? Here is something that I don't think there's any way that I can do this, but I really, I, I'd love to try. And the fear of that, and ultimately, if you're successful at something that you're really afraid of, um, that can be some of the most, you know, the most life-changing moments. Airing these stories in Hilton's Worldwide, we will have much better exposure than we would just in the theater or television. So it really helps get the message out there, the sustainability is a very important issue that we have to address right now. We saw the scale of this problem across the country and realized that through a combination of the world doing its part and local actors such as Reswan doing their part, are we going to survive? The world may turn to a place like Bangladesh for guidance when we find water lapping at our doorsteps.